Hello and welcome to Data Research Labs. For this tutorial, we're going to discuss how to generate a data dictionary from an existing schema using a script in MySQL. Do you need to generate a data dictionary from an existing schema where the schema name, the table name, the ordinal position, the column name, whether or not it's a key, foreign key, primary key, unique key, maybe it's both, the data type, whether or not it's nullable, and really important, the description. As long as it's present in the schema, we can pull it out. Do you want to have all those things automatically generated into a data dictionary from an existing schema and then output that to say Excel or to a text file? Then here's the script for you. First, a demo for downloading the SQL script. Open your favorite browser and go to github.com slash all one word data research labs just like that. Github.com slash data research labs. Hit enter. And you're going to want to browse until you see the SQL scripts project. And it may be at the top. It may be down a ways. Just go find it or you can sort to find it. So click on SQL scripts and then scroll down to MySQL and go to data dictionary. I'm going to go ahead and click data dictionary dump SQL. And then I'm going to click raw. Now I have the raw text file. Just highlight a little bit of it. Control A, Control C. Now you have the entire script in the clipboard. You can bring up notepad. Paste it in, save it, and off you go. Next, a demo for how to generate the data dictionary table. So I'm going to open up MySQL Workbench, and I have a test data set downloaded off the internet, Sakila. It's got some views, and it's got some tables. And they didn't have any descriptions on the columns, so I added one on the actor ID. That way we can see it come up. So that is our test data set. Now I'm going to go grab the data dictionary dump SQL script that we pulled down from GitHub in the last demo. Here it is. And once the script is up, the only thing I really need to change is right here, the schema name, but it's already correct, set to the one I want it to be set to. And that schema name gets pulled down through here so you don't change it. But this yes, no value, I could set it to yes, limit it to tables only, hide the views, but I want it to be no. I want to show the views as well and all the column definitions and metadata on the views. That's it. All the rest of this you can <clears throat> browse through and look at on your own. I'm not going to run through it. I'm just going to execute the script. And there we go. The script <clears throat> has run. You can see the schema, the table names, whether or not it's table or view, ordinal position. That's primary key column, data type, not nullable. And there's the definition that I added. If the test data had more, they'd all show up. And if I scroll down, all the different tables and columns, all the data is there. So that is how you generate the data dictionary table. And finally, the demo for how to output the data dictionary into Excel. So here's the data dictionary details. And I can copy paste it to Excel, but I'm not going to. I'm going to use the export function. And I'm going to drop it off here. That's a good name. And it's exported as a CSV file. And from that CSV file, I can just double click it, and it'll open into Excel. And there we go. Before I format it, I can't leave it in CSV. I have to save it and save it as an Excel file. There we go, Excel workbook in the same folder. And save that. Now the formatting can be saved, and it's an XLSX. One quick way is just to click in the cell, format as table, and mm, sure, this looks good. And it automatically selects everything. So that's one quick way to do it. And that one automatically sets the filters too for you. So. If I only want to see what's in the address table, I click it like that, like that, and there, I filter the address table. And if I want to undo the filters, then I just come up and clear the filters. So that's a quick way to do it, and there's other ways you can format. I'm not going to go through all of them, but it's really handy. And when you have a giant data dictionary, it's a really nice way to lay it out. And then you can take this Excel file and share it via email to your team members, post it on your SharePoint or Wiki or whatever. So that is how you do a data dictionary in Excel from a SQL script. Thank you for watching, and please, if you found this video helpful, click like and subscribe. Also check out our other videos and related playlists in the boxes to the right.